Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Algor's internet and another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Now, I had a little snafu. Um, I had a couple snafus. One, I started recording without my mic on yesterday. And today when I went to go and edit and upload my video, I noticed that my audio was completely out of sync. I mean, it was bad. It was to the point where video was like where it wasn't where it should have been. Like completely frames were all over the place. I don't know what happened there. Not really sure. Um, but it wasn't fixable. So I decided that I was going to have to actually go back and re-record this episode. However, I did not get all of it uh, or I wasn't able to reload all of it. So here we are. In Hamleith, where we left off before, however, um, you may notice that we have a new member in our party. Uh, her name is Shale. Uh, she is a golem. We managed to get out of the basement, free the little girl, or save the little girl from the demonic cat, and now we're here. So, I picked up an all-girl party, had some snafus there with trying to get um, the party makeup that I wanted, but that's okay. We're fine. I actually need to go back to camp and Soldier's Peak to um, Soldier's Peak. I wanted to make a quick stop because I picked up. If you guys remember, I picked up that piece of ore um, with the uh, Superman Easter egg and that actually need to take to Soldier's Peak so um, I could get that. Um, I don't know what you call it, but basically that ore needs to be turned into a weapon so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head over to camp so I can empty out my bags cutscene I'll be quiet <laughs> shale is a grumpy grumpy woman all right so first things first um, let's head over to soldiers peak then we're going to head to camp and then we're going to actually head over to Frostback Mountains um, because we need to re not restart, but continue on with Sten's quest. And um, I wanted to go ahead and start that part of the main storyline. So let's do that. And I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back and we are at Frostback Mountains. So we're Mountain Pass anyways. And we're going to go ahead and try to get uh, Sten's sword back. Ooh, almost went past his death route. And uh, yeah, so that we're going to do that. And then I think once we, once, uh, I don't know, I guess it depends on how this goes. I, I don't remember. Um what I need to do, but we're going to go ahead and get Sten's quest line done today, and then we're going to start the Orzammar quest. Ooh, oh, shoot. I walked right up on them and not... Okay. Uh, we've got a mage over here. Shoot. Um, when can you... I don't even think the mage is going to... Uh, I think the mage is probably going to resist that, but maybe if Sin comes over here and pummels her... Um... Maybe we can get Augie to come over here and howl. And I guess, Alistair, you're good for now. Uh, okay, when uh, I need to group heal, babe. Um, yeah, that just went terribly wrong. Very quickly. Um, shoot. All right, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna happen. All right, uh, Stan, let me grab. I thought I had a bunch of lesser. There we go. Okay. I don't want to use all my good stuff. This is lesser. What am I doing? Um. Okay. So I'm gonna have him drink. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm gonna have her. Can I get Valeria you? drink. Ooh, he's not gonna be. Able... Okay, drink you again. Uh, Alistair, you drink. Yes. Oh, shoot. Alaria, summon. Can't summon. All right, let's, Augie, run over there. Um, okay. Stand, drink. You're going to have to drink that. Oh, this is going to suck. What can you drink, Alistair? Nothing. Um, 
Just drink that and let's see. Okay. All right, um, Alistair, drink again. Okay, sweet. The mage is down, Alistair drink. Um, okay, have you drink again? I think we might be okay. I think so. Yes. Oh, the dog died. Shoot. Alright. We're good, though. We're good. We're good. That mage was a pain in the butt. Jeez. Maybe I should have rolled mage. Goodness. Okay, when. Let us give you a injury kit. Um, and Alistair, actually, you're good. We don't probably need to heal you up. <sighs> Jeez. All right, let's loot this dude. Um, can we go this way? I guess so. Yes, I suppose we can. That Why are you smiling like oh, that? You look suspiciously like the cat that swallowed the pigeon. Canary. What? I look like the cat that swallowed the canary. I once had a very large cat, but not my point. My point is, why are you smirking? <laughs> you were watching her with great interest, I might add. In fact, I believe you were enraptured. She's our leader. I look to her for guidance. Oh, I see. So what guidance did you find in those swaying hips, hmm? No, no, no. I wasn't looking at, you know, her hind quarters. Certainly. <laughs> I gazed, glanced in that direction, maybe, but I wasn't staring or really seeing anything, even. Of course. <laughs> I hate you. You're a bad person. That's hilarious. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I think this is part of a quest. What can I do for you? Uh, oh, I have a note for you. This ought to be interesting. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. Good day. Good day, sir. Um, Aaron, what do you have going on? Let's see. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well armed to notice a lowly merchant. Ah, uh, you live in the surface? Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Um, how often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Okay, I should go. Best of luck to you. Thank you. All right, I need to look for... I don't want to pass by the gossip again because they talk too much. Um, You? Yeah. Let's see. Step right. Make us breath. Oh, beg your pardon, friend. You uh, startled me a bit. I bet I did. Uh, we're looking for a Kunari sword. Can, can what? I'm sorry, I... Uh... I don't know what that... Where is my sword? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. I'd give it to him if I were you, Farron. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. Okay, well, who did you sell it to? A dwarf near Redcliffe. Dwin, I think his name was. If you're lying, you, you know we'll be back. I'm not. I promise you. We'll see. So it seems. I've got a cousin in Van Fair. Okay. So he has nothing. I don't think any of these other guys. Oh, wait. Mm, shady thug. Wait a minute. Let's, let's take this. Shady thug. I have a feeling we need to talk to you. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Mm. Oh, that's right. Okay. I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. I forgot about this. Oh? What is this about? Um... I'm to bring you in for desertion. I worried this might happen. 
I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. Well, how would you? I mean? have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Nice beard. Okay. Let's see. He went right. He went right. He went right for um Sten. Okay. This is what we got going on here. Um, let's do some crowd control. Okay. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, let's get this dude. Alright, alright. Got it. Alright, alright. And who okay, it's like who else is all these people like standing around, they see us fighting, they're just like, ha huh, ha huh, ha, huh, we see nothing. <laughs> Typical. Okay. Oh, we already talked to Farron. Okay. So, we've discovered that we need to go back to speak to Dwen. Dwen is in Redcliffe, if you guys remember, the dwarf that helped us um, defend Redcliffe. Uh, we have to get the sword, I guess, back from him. Hopefully, he'll have it. I guess we don't have to run all the way back now, do we? No. Okay, so we need to go here. Hopefully, we won't get stopped on the way to the village. Frankly, I just want to go straight to where my destination is. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to run down here quickly. And this this actually took um, less time than I thought I was going to. And um, hopefully, we'll get pretty far in the Orzammar quest. I do know that it's fairly long, and we still have a uh, we still have the elves to recruit as well. So we have dwarves and elves. We have, I think we just who did who have we recruited so far? Just the just Redcliffe. I think that's it. I think we no we did the mages as well. Okay. Um. Ooh, where are we going? Where are we going? Over here. That's where he lives. Yeah. Hopefully Dwayne won't give us a hard time about this sword. But I have a feeling we might have to kill him. Phew. Some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Oh, why is that? Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. Though I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. He's referring to the attack on Redcliffe. Um, with the undead. Okay, look, I'm looking for the Canary sword you bought. Now, why would you be interested in that? Because it's, it's not mine. Yours. Exactly. Uh, you know, Farron didn't mention the giant he took it from was alive. Why don't you give up the sword and we'll go? Excellent idea. Yeah. It's in my strong box. Here's the key. Now, why don't you leave me alone? Yeah, I don't think he wanted to deal with a Kunari. Even though Sten looks kind of small. I mean, he's taller than every... He, okay, he is taller than everybody. Okay, so that's his sword. Awesome. I wonder if we can... Let's just give it to him here. Um, let's see. Uh, where is it at again? I think it was... Oh, shoot, now... Okay, I just did the... Oh, here it is. No, it's not. Okay, what? Darks. Okay, that's not it. I just. Okay, where? I guarantee you I just passed it up. Okay, let's look here. No, it wouldn't be here because I think it's a gift. What in the actual? There. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. Strange. Mm, bad camera angle. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. Um, what will you do now? My sword is in my hand again. I should put it to use. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended. Don't you agree? Stan looks weird when he smiles. I mean, I guess because... He doesn't smile, and it just looks, it doesn't look right. It looks awkward on his face. 
Um, so you're staying then? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. I'm glad to have you stand. Yes, it isn't every Grey Warden who has her own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. I'm not sure what Beresad is. I assume it's Warrior. We did get a big approval um, to from Sten, and looks like we acquired the second level in moderate strength. Awesome. I, I don't know if it goes any higher than that, but that's cool. I Probably not, because I think we've we reached... Have we reached max level approval with Sten? I don't know. I mean, no, but we're not that far. So that's cool. Is he? I don't think he was ever a romance option. I'm pretty sure he's not. If he was, it's kind of too bad. I, I think I would have. I think I might have romanced Stan if he was. I don't know. He's a big man. Um. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're going to head to Frost. I think I kind of want to switch up my party. Yeah, okay, I'm going to head back to camp, and then I will see you guys in just a moment. I think I want to switch my party up before we go to Orzammar. I don't, I don't think I want to bring Sten, so I'll be back in just a moment. All right, we are back at Orzammar. You know the regent reminds me of the way he's acting? What? The Orlesians. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're back at Orzammar, and we're going to try to get in here um, with no problem. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. I have important business in Orzammar. None more important than mine. Your business will wait. Orzammar must limit outside influence until the throne is settled. No one gets in. Um... Why have your people retreated like this? They hide because they are dwarves. I would challenge any race to fare as well. Our king is dead. Endron I do can return to the stone not three weeks ago. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. I see. Okay, well, um, I am a great warden. This treaty obliges Orzammar to aid me. The wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. Thank you. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. <laughs> um, let's intimidate. No. No, let's intimidate. Run to your false king. The dwarves will not hear him today. You, you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. Ciao. See you later. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Hmm. We'll see. Shall we... What? Huh? Okay. A trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting. But your presence will be tolerated. Thank you. Okay, so... How magnificent. These must be the statues of the Dwarven Paragons. Yeah, okay. C can I talk now? <laughs> All right, we're going to run through I here. I haven't eaten in days. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I haven't eaten in days. Okay, we can't do anything for him. All right. Ooh, sweet. Win. Leveled up. Awesome. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Jeez. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. Jeez. My goodness. Okay. Um, so... I'll get on it. Okay, I was gonna say, anybody else want to... Anybody else want to speak? Did we not get this one? Okay. 
Um, I think you we got... You must know that murder is wrong, I assume. I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? That is why you wish to leave your crows. A crisis of conscience. Yes, that is exactly it. Joke if you wish. But I have the feeling that deep down, you regret the life you have lived. It's true. I regret it all. <sighs> Must you be such a child? Are you incapable of a single serious conversation? I know. I'm terrible and it makes me sad. May I rest my head in your bosom? <laughs> I wish to cry. You can cry well away from my bosom, I'm certain. Did I tell you I was an orphan? I never knew my mother. Eh, Gad. I give up. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought Severin. He cracks me up. I'm sorry, but he does. Oh, gosh. Uh, Wen is so judgmental. I, I love Wen. She means well, but she is super judgmental. I'm going to give her a little more um, constitution. And oops, I meant to give her magic. Yeah. Oh, also, we can choose a specialization. Huh, she's definitely not going to be a blood mage. She's already a spirit healer. Um, shapeshifter, no. I guess the only choice we have is arcane warrior. Although, I mean, maybe that'll be a good mix for her. Um, oh, okay. Um, let's give her a cleansing aura for now. And we'll work on the arcane warrior later. All right, we're on our way into Orzammar. I'm excited. I love Orzammar. I do. I love the whole dwarven underground um, city. Look at this place. I mean, I know the graphics aren't that great because it's an old game, but this is still cool. And this is a cutscene. It is the assembly who makes a king and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You'll not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> Oof. Okay, uh, did I say I loved Orzammar? Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. That was, um, a bit much. Okay. Um, did we talk to you, dude? Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Okay, um... The Blight is coming, and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. It's funny that you say a surface issues but you know if the dark spawn when you'll have the issues too it'll be your issue um yeah that bothered me sorry um sounds like balin and Harrowmount are the ones i need to talk to they've caged themselves for fear of each other as you've seen keeping order down among us working people is dodgy no place for a proper lord Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. He sounds better. All right, well, I should get going then. Yes, you should. Mm-hmm. Rude. Okay, so we need to speak to... Let me look at our journal. Is it I? Okay, nope, that's not it. Let's just use this as shape for journal. Okay, so we have a lot to do here. Um, the Earl of Redcliffe. Did we not do this? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so we need to seek out Stuart Bandler, Vartag Gavern, and Doolin Ferrender. So it's the steward. Okay, so we've got to do these. All right. 
So we got three people to look for. Um, oh, let's get this. Um, uh, let's go this way. Can we talk to you? Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Uh, this Balin, is that King Endrin's son? Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. What do you know about this Lord Harrowmont? Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the assembly to endorse Harrowmont. Uh, why such hate for Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. Hmm. Is Harrowmount qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Who are you? I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? I guess I should have asked her that first. I am Alaria, Grey Warden, here to seek aid. A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? I have treaties compelling Orzammar to aid against a blight. A blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets. Oh, well. I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferrender. He might be able to get you an audience. Okay. Okay, just a quick background story on Orzammar. Uh, well, this is the origin story if you play as a dwarf or you start as a dwarf, play as a dwarf, start as a dwarf, same thing. Uh, you would actually find, uh, you would see that story take place that she just described with the brothers. Um, I think it was the youngest killing the oldest and the middle one was blamed for the death um and he was basically told to leave orzammar he had to leave orzammar um i'm not sure what happens to him if you don't play his origin story i guess it's just kind of left for you to um find out um but yeah so that is a storyline that you would start with if you play as a dwarf um Let's talk to this dude. Can we talk to him? He's a commoner. The great paragon Branca will never return. Okay. The ancestors have taken her from this world. Okay. Um, let's talk to you. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. Now I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. Hmm. Are these things dangerous? We gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. If I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Nugs look like naked mole rats. Uh, excuse me, I, um, uh, do you have a moment? Uh, yeah. You look like you're not from around here. I am not. How could you tell? Uh, yes, you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Yes, I have. The Circle of Magi? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Um, do you want me to ask them? That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcasts. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Okay, well, I should have actually asked the other question because dwarves cannot be mages. Reason being is because they can't dream. So without the um, being able to enter the Fade, um, 
through your dreams, you can't be a mage. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's really basic and I'm skimming over a lot of information, but that's basically, yeah. Greetings and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. What? The things they come up with. What? What was I saying? What thing? What? Have a look at my shop, I hope. Right. Yeah, I have some lovely things here. Uh, Lilirium. Enhanced, of course. Okay. Ooh, good stuff, I hope. Hmm. Toma physical technique. Ooh. Good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, a bracelet. Amulet. Mirror. Ooh, nice ring. Oh my gosh, 87. I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. I can't afford that. Um, I can't afford... Not... I mean, oh wow, ooh, oh my, um, jeez, I want that, okay, I'm gonna have to save up some, some, um, some gold, uh, did I hear a nug? Okay, let's go over here, I just wanna see if there's anything back here, nope, can we get in here, nope. All right, so let's go over here. What down Does that here? lead out to the deep roads? I hear they're crawling with dog spawn. There's a nug. See, they look like little naked mole rats with ears, bunny ears. What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry. But I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. I mean, I'm not that much taller than you, dude. Um, why do you need patrols? Don't let the comm fool you. The Darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they've made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. It is. Um, will you let me pass? Into the deep roads? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a Desher's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. Okay. All right, well, I should go then. Hi. For your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Well, me too. Okay, so we're going to go the... Oh, wait a minute. Who is this? Oh, yeah, we... I grabbed a nug, but I'll wait. Oh, there's another nug. They're just crawling out of the malls, I guess. Let's just go this way. Actually... Wow. So this is Ozama. Uh, it's huge. Yeah. Okay. Who's this? This is Dagna. We already talked to you. What's in here? Uh, do we want to go in here? Let's go in here. Might be able to buy something. Okay. Janar. Oh, we're supposed to talk to him first before we talk. Is that a dead body? Oh, okay. I was about to say, um, dude, what are you doing with a dead body? Let's talk to you. I think this is her dad, Dagna's dad. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail. At Janar's, we have everything from leather to platinum. Hmm, let me see what you've got. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. I'm just looking. Okay, you don't have anything that I want. Okay. Mm. Anyways, let's let's talk to you again. A trust Valar, stranger. A trust Here for Valar. armor or conversation. Um, do you know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, I cannot object. Okay. Are you part of the Smith cast? I, for a hundred generations. 
My father made his name by inventing a fold and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. No. Um, Janar, do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's <laughs> like a cave tick. Won't let go. No, she hasn't been any bother. No, she wants to be a mage. No, I'd like to help her study with the mages. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just the childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Okay, well, the father doesn't approve, and I can understand because what happens is if a dwarf goes to the surface, they lose the rights of become, being a dwarf. They lose their caste, which means that um, there's different castes in um, the dwarf faction. Basically, you have a smithing caste. Um, I can't think of anything else right now, but they have a smithing caste, and basically it's almost like... Um, not nobility per se, but that's the best way I can explain it. And um, if you have a cast, you obviously if you do something amazing, like invent something that's that would help them farm lyrium faster, you could become a paragon. And a paragon is almost like not a deity per se, but they like they're way up there with like the king or something like that. But um, anyways, you lose your cast in any way, shape, form, or fashion, uh, whether it be going up, up north, going up to the surface, or, um, um, yeah, basically going to your surface, or if you murder someone, you could get tagged, uh, your face could get tagged with tattoos, which basically symbolizes that. Ancestors, guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Mothers, keep him safe. For you know what it is to mourn. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, so yeah, you'll see. Um, let's talk to her. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? They do not. Although I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. No, they believe in the stone and not the maker. Um, okay, so what? what were you praying for? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. What happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only Smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Uh, did anyone go after him? The captains Sorry, don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. Okay. Um, there are dark spawn in the deep roads. The deep roads are where dark spawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... Oh, wow. Okay, um... Okay, we shouldn't abandon him. I'll look for him if you want. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. I'm a great warden. That's what we do. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. Way to be positive, Zevran. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, can we... Alright. Um, let's talk to Legnar over here. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Oh, yeah? 
Your allegiance to this Balin is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Hmm. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. And you approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The hmm. assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. All right. Um, a blight is coming. Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Hmm. Let me see what you have. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Oh, thank you. You might not have anything. Let's see. Fear of blood magic has stigmatized. Okay, so this is for blood magic? Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Gold symbol of Andraste. What is this? A gift. I think I can give that to Zevran. I'm going to. I think. I'll, no, wait. I don't know. Um. Gold earrings, silver demon head ring. I think Ellie Flag, and I don't know who that is for. I, th I don't know who that's for either. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm spending money like I have it. Symbol of Andraste. I think this is for Liliana. We're going to grab it. I mean, these are just like, I don't have that much room. I need to be careful. Okay. Um... All right, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I don't want to keep talking to people, and um, it's probably getting a little long in the tooth as far as this episode is going. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you decide to join us next time for another episode of Dragon Age. And when we return next week, I will um, continue on with our quest in Orzammar. Now, if you're not a member of the family and you'd like to come to the family reunion, you know what to do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time that I every time I upload which is at least 3 times a week. All right guys, until next time, I will talk to you later. Ciao.